What happens if you're driving without insurance? And I'm going to be talking about California because I'm a California attorney that handles accident cases, and that's what I know. So unfortunately, it is common for people in California to think, you know, your insurance is so expensive. I'm just not going to pay for insurance or I'm going to see how long I can go without insurance. So obviously, not, not only is this against the law with the DMV and vehicle code regulations, but it can cause you a lot of problems if you're in an accident. And the main law for when you're driving without insurance is called Prop 213. You can Google it and read it. But essentially, if you're driving without insurance and you get into a car accident, you cannot recover for pain and suffering damages. So what's the difference between the economic damages and non-economic? So economic are things like medical bills, your property damage, receipts, things out of pocket expenses. It's like when you're paying money or lost wages. Non-economic damages are things like pain and suffering, how it's affected your life, how it's going to affect you into the future. And as we know, injuries are not just what people write in the medical bills or the records or a diagnosis. It's also the symptoms and how it affects you. So for example, some cases people have a couple of chiropractic visits, but the pain doesn't go away and there really isn't much more that they can do they just have to live with the pain it's a chronic pain condition now and it could be something that continues on for the rest of their life i'm sure maybe you or someone you know has a chronic pain where you know they complain to you about back pain um sitting down or getting up or trying to participate in activities like they once did so when you get in an accident and you don't have insurance you can't recover for all of that pain and suffering damages. And some people think, well, why, you know, maybe I, that's okay. I'm willing to risk that. Well, there's another issue. And that is if you can't recover th for that, many attorneys aren't going to represent you. And one of the things that it's great about the type of work that I do is that I can represent people without asking for money up front. I can get paid at the end of the case, a contingency. And so I'm able to represent a lot more people because a lot of people just don't have the money to pay an attorney. But if you limit the ability to recover damages like pain and suffering, that cuts out my ability to get a monetary recovery for you. And it limits my fee at the end of the case. And at the end of the day, I'm not going to get involved because it's economically it just doesn't make sense. So now you've limited your ability to get an attorney. And then there's another problem. A lot of people think, well, I'm a great driver. I don't really need insurance. If I ever get in an accident, it's going to be the other person's fault. But the problem is that many times the other person may blame you, even though you feel strongly that you're not at fault, the other person could blame you and that can cause all sorts of problems. So now their insurance company is not going to pay for your vehicle until there's a, a further investigation and may never pay for your vehicle. And now you're stuck paying out of pocket for your own medical bills, for your property damage and any other out of it, pocket expenses that you might have been able to recover if you had your own insurance or been able to recover sooner. Uh, so those are a couple things that you need to think about if you're planning on driving without insurance. It's a, there's some really very serious consequences. Uh, I'd recommend at least the minimum, but if possible, you want to get under an uninsured motorist coverage because there are a lot of people driving without insurance and that insurance coverage protects you. You also want to get what's called medical pay and that helps pay for out-of-pocket medical expenses early on in the case, particularly if you have those high co-pays or deductibles or when you go to the ER. So that's reasons why you don't want to drive with insurance and the consequences of what happens when you do.